Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel or if you're a returning viewer then hi nice to see you again I'm so glad that you're back if you haven't already certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my videos I do post on Sundays Wednesdays and Fridays so there's been a lot of content going out and if you don't want to miss anything then that's going to be your best bet so today I have a knit crate unboxing and First of all, I do get these boxes sent to me for review purposes and I do have a coupon code if you are interested in signing up for Knit Crate yourself and I will link that down below. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to mention is that typically when I do these unboxings, I share the projects that I made from last month and I don't know what happened the past few weeks or months or whatever, but things have been crazy at my house and I just didn't do them. I have nothing, I did not work a single stitch on my last month's box. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we will get back into the swing of things in the next video, but as for right now, we just have a couple of Knit Crate unboxings and I think that that'll be fun anyway. So let's hop into it. So the first one that I have is the main crate here and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. <laughs> so the first thing is this little magazine, Knit Crate Inspirations, and in here it talks about the theme, the patterns, the yarn, and the designers. Basically anything that you want to know about the box is in here. So the theme for this month was Happy Little Skeins, and so it's kind of got a Bob Ross sort of theme going on. And we're going to look at the patterns first. So for the main crate, the knit pattern is the Fallen Cowl by Casey Herlihy. And this one is really pretty. It's got some lace leaves going around it. And it's just, you know, a basic cowl. It's got some ribbing at the top and the bottom. The, those lacy leaves are so fun to do. So if you've never done that kind of uh, lace, I would highly recommend checking something like this out. It's really, really fun. Um, what is it? The, there's a spring blanket by Mel Clark that I've knit for many, many babies. And yeah, it's so much fun. I would guess that this cowl is very similar to that. So yeah, definitely check it out. Then the crochet pattern is the Arcade Slouch Hat by Heart Hook Home. And this is really cool. It's kind of a basic slouchy beanie, but then it's almost got mermaid scales going through it, or at least that's what I would think of. I do have a little girl that is very interested in princesses, so maybe that's why that comes to mind. But yeah, very pretty. I really like that. And I would guess that pretty much anyone could do this. Um, it looks like something that I would be able to do and I am not, you know, I'm not a huge crocheter. I am hoping to get into it a little bit more, but I think that I could handle this. So yeah, I, I really like that. So let's take a look at what else is in my little bag here. The Knit Crate boxes do come with two patterns. So there's a crochet pattern and a knit pattern, and then two skeins of yarn and then an extra. So let's see what the extra is. It looks like, oh, little stitch markers and they're cute. So they are these just little clasp type kind of progress markers. Is that what they're called? And so it's just got, yeah, a little lobster clasp here and then a nice little glass bead and a little uh, flower charm there. And there are two of them. So that's really pretty. And then let's take a look at the yarn. So obviously it is a very, very dark yarn. It's very nice and soft. What is this made out of? Uh, it's, oh wow, yeah. 90% Suri alpaca and 10% cashmere. So yeah, of course it's very soft. And then it's got kind of a blue tint to it, but then there's also just a little bit of green. It's just really, really pretty. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to start working with this. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the sock crate. So the sock crate extra just kind of jumped out at me. So we'll just go ahead and talk about that first. It's this little retractable measuring tape. So it does have, you know, comes out that way. It's got a little button on the back. It's in the shape of a heart. It says, all you need is yarn. And then it does also have this little string on top. So if you're someone like me that loses their tape measures all the time, then you could just put it around your neck and you won't lose it. This might be a little bit difficult for me personally to keep track of because 
my kids love my tape measures just in general and then you know kids with retractable tape measures they're gone right away and this is basically a necklace so the minute that my kids see this I will no longer have it they will have commandeered it and it will no longer be in my possession but it is really cute and they will probably have a lot of fun with this if I don't get to use it first so yeah there's the tape measure just like the main crate the sock crate does include two patterns there's a knit version of socks and then a crochet version as well the knit pattern is the petal socks by Lauren Gates these are are so cool so I took a look at the actual pattern itself and you start at the toe and work your way up and this has that kind of lacy leaf design as well that I was kind of raving about earlier really really fun and then the thing that I'm really interested in is the little pico edge so this I think I should have looked a little bit closer but I think that this is one of those eyelet pico um, yeah, it is. It's an eyelet pico edge and um, oh, what was the one that I've used? I think it's on Dagmar's dress by Petite Knit. It has that kind of edge on the collar and the sleeve edges and the skirt edge. Really, really cool pattern. Um, but yeah, so I have not seen it on a pair of socks before, but it's a really fun way of doing edging and it looks really cool on these too. So yeah, really excited to start working on those. And then the crochet pattern. So I have only crocheted one pair of socks in my life and it was really fun, but these look a little bit intense for me. So these are Susie's Bloom Socks by Jessica Smith Hetrick. And I don't even know what to say about these other than, wow, these look intense. And I know nothing about crocheting these. They just look really cool. So yeah. There is the crochet pattern. So moving on to the yarn that I got in my sock crate, I got this guy here. This is the Vitalana Tiptoe Sock Yarn, and it's in the colorway Linen Spray. So it's kind of got almost a fresh cut grass sort of look to it, really pretty. And then I think you might be able to see some of these little fibers kind of coming off of the yarn. And I think that that's part of the linen portion of this yarn. So it's made out of 45% superwash merino wool, 40% linen, and 15% nylon. So linen is not something that I work with a ton, but I kind of like the feel of it. It's got more of a sturdy sort of feel, but what's going to be interesting about this is that the linen has kind of that sturdiness, but then there's nylon in there too, which is more of a stretchy material. So yeah, curious to see how this is going to work up, but really excited to start working on those petal socks out of this. I'm I think they'll turn out really, really well. So yeah. So I think that that's going to do it for today's Knit Crate video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you did, certainly give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.